There's one super legendary, amazing family in Assassin's Creed. Too much haste is too little speed. No, that's the lame one. There's a family in this series that is so scary, so legendary, and so, so deadly. If they ever walked down the street together to go for a little family shopping, everyone would collapse in fear. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to talk about which one of these family members is the deadliest. Who's the deadliest Kenway? Well, let me introduce you to the candidates. We have the Army Destroyer. Give me lead! The Silver Tongue and Deadly Blade. It's an invitation to chaos. And this goofball. Oh, shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? Can you imagine this family during the holidays? We need an Assassin's Creed reality show. Keeping up with the Kenways. Get me Connor, Haytham, Edward getting caught up in some petty drama in a reality show format with the tell-alls and everything. I'm just stuck with him. Oh, don't. Don't. Oh, what? You wanna try don't. to yeah, me? Yeah, I am. Oh, try it. It would be the perfect formula since these three are related, but all drastically different in terms of personality. Connor is the serious, sassy, angsty teenager. Give me lead! Haytham is the polite dad who will destroy you with facts and logic. The only difference, Connor. The only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. And Edward's the cool drunk grandpa who gives you tons of money for your birthday, even when it's not your birthday. Oh, shut your fucking gob. All right, all right. I'm sorry, Edward. You know, it's actually a tragedy we didn't get to see a buddy cop movie or something with these three just going around having adventures. You're it. You're it. You're it. Quitsies. Any quitsies. You're it. Quitsies. No, any quitsies. No startsies. You can't do that. Can't do. Cannot. Stamp it. Can't do. Double stamp it. No erase. Why'd you have to die so young, Edward? We could have had so many fun adventures if you lived to be in Assassin's Creed 3. Freaking loser. Oh, shut your fucking- But if you guys have seen my video talking about who the deadliest assassin is, you should be very familiar with this concept. I'm going to talk about each Kenway individually and then compare them on their deadliness to determine a winner. As always, this is just my opinion, so feel free to leave in the comments who you think the deadliest is and why. So starting off with the mean, lean, pirate stealing machine, Mr. Edward James Kenway. I didn't know these characters had middle names. Edward, of course, is a very, very deadly man. And to be honest, I'm not sure which version of him is scarier. The wild, glory-loving pirate whose sole purpose in life is to get rich regardless of who gets in his way, or the reformed assassin who steers his skills towards a cause. Regardless, I wouldn't want to be the guy who's got to face Edward in open combat. Combat. He's extremely deadly. His ability to clear entire ships worth of people on his lonesome is proof enough of that. Not to mention this dude was able to kill high-ranking trained assassins and Templars without having any proper training himself. Imagine training your whole life, working up the ranks to become a respected member in the Assassin Brotherhood. Then you just get killed by this guy. That's gotta suck. <gasps> or better yet, imagine being a Templar Grand Master with this big scheme years in the making being foiled by by a simple pirate. You honestly believe that? <laughs> you would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison. Then, considering Edward wasn't an assassin for a big majority of Black Flag, and still managing to be as deadly as he is, that's just incredibly impressive on its own, but I would expect nothing less of a Kenway. Oh, but his son, Haytham, ooh, I don't know. Haytham is not only one of my favorite characters in this entire franchise, but my lord is he deadly. Not just because he's a really good fighter, no, he's a stone cold killer. She's in that big mansion, the one with the gardens. Haytham shows no mercy. The only time he did was to his son. I mean, in that case, he's the Darth Vader of Assassin's Creed. He of course lost Edward at a very young age and was brought up to be a Templar, but make no mistake, Haytham still actively chooses to be a Templar. He's smart enough to observe both the Assassins and Templars, recognize the flaws in both, and make a decision for himself. Ultimately, his beliefs align with the Templars for the most part, perfectly encapsulated by this famous scene. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. 
It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. I mean, come on. He makes Connor and even us, who are almost always on the assassin's side, look like a bunch of naive kindergartners. We're still trying to figure out how to color inside the lines while Haytham's doing trigonometry. Haytham is deadly for so many reasons. He's a phenomenal fighter, possibly one of the best in the series. He pretty much bested Connor in one-on-one -on -one combat. He's ruthless and merciless to his enemies, never leaving witnesses, and he's incredibly smart and knowledgeable. He's the ideal person you want on your side in the Assassin and Templar conflict. And his son Connor is also just a menace. Connor's biggest strengths are obviously his combat ability and raw strength and athleticism. Haytham is a proper well-trained swordsman, you can see that in his animations and of course from his background. Connor on the other hand, who grew up in a native tribe, is like an animal. He's aggressive, insanely strong, and brutally attacks his enemies. Both are deadly fighters, but have very different styles. Connor isn't quite as smart as Haytham and is more naive and inexperienced, but what he lacks in knowledge and skill, he makes up for in raw talent. As demonstrated in his cinematic trailer, he's capable of taking on armies on his lonesome. He did this multiple times in the game, he's able to take out groups of enemies very quickly, and he destroyed the Templar Order led by Haytham in the colonies. He even killed his father, but Haytham let him win as all good dads do, though I would hope not too often in a fight to the death. This is an incredibly challenging decision to make. Each candidate has numerous reasons for why they deserve the title of deadliest anyway, but ultimately, there can only be one winner. And the winner is... Edward. Psych! Hey them! I'm sorry I had to do you like that, Edward. <laughs> like I said, it was a tough decision, but for me, the winner is Haytham. Just what a deadly guy. But of course, Connor and Edward are menaces as well. This entire family, man, it's a shame we never got to see all three interact with each other. Anyways, Hey them, now that you've won, would you like to say a few words? I am the victor? No, you're you're not Con Connor, your dad you didn't your soars. dad won. Thank you. Apprehend that man! Wait, what are you doing, Connor? Oh my god! Give me Lee! Give me Connor, Lee! that's not Charles Lee! Lee. Give Connor! Me Lee. Give me Lee! 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 Shut your fucking mouth! Give me Lee! Well, uh... Give me Again, feel free to let me know who you think the deadliest Kenway is and why. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and considered subscribing to the channel if you're new. Big thank you to my members for supporting me. If you're interested in joining, the link is in the description. And other than that, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.